Colin, end of day one here at the Oval. What was the overall thought in the dressing room after one day's play? Yeah, I think we played pretty well up front. Um, got a wicket that offered quite a bit for the seamers. I think Lizzie and uh, Ben McKinney played really well um, to kind of weather the storm up front. Um, they're obviously a good team and uh, you know the seamers just keep coming. Um, so I think probably an average score, probably 260, 270 is probably par on that wicket. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a good cricket wicket. If you bowl well, there's rewards. If you bat well, you can also score runs. A couple of new faces in the team. We've got James Minto making his debut, Emilio Gay as well. How have they been settling into the team over the last couple of days? Obviously, Emilio has had a pretty good season so far. Um, obviously, on loan from North Ends, um, he looks like a class player. Um, lines up really well. Um, and Minto, obviously, is an, an, an exciting prospect, only 16 years old. So, um, so obviously, if you know him today, but... Um, you can definitely see there's a really good bowler. When you got out to the middle, what was kind of your take on the wicket? It looked as if there were op- there were opportunities for runs, but there was looks like there was also something in it for the bowlers as well. Yeah, like I said, it's a good cricket wicket. Um, if you kind of bash away at a good length, there's enough uh, reward there. Um, but in saying that, if you do stray, you know you can score your runs quite quickly. Um, I think that showed tonight. We kind of just um, strayed from that good line of length, and and they're obviously good players. So. They're going to put the bad ball away. More runs for you today. I think that's your fourth score of 50 plus this year. What is it about, particularly this newer role for you down at, down in the middle order rather than at number three? Is it just that little bit of extra time that it takes for you to come to the middle? Is that just a, is it just a conditions? Is it just a little bit clearer train of thought or process for you? What what's what do you put behind the runs? I wouldn't say I change anything. Um, obviously, coming in a bit late on your face and a slightly older ball, so the balls end up in around too much. Um, as you would in the top three or four. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't say I've changed anything. Um, I don't like looking at the scoreboard too much, kind of just play what's in front of me, um, and, it's, and it's worked so far. Looking ahead to tomorrow, obviously wickets are key in any Red Bull game, but after Surrey got off to that quick start this evening, it looks like we're going to need to pin them back quite early on tomorrow morning. Yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously wickets early on. Um, so we'll regroup tonight um, and hopefully come back stronger tomorrow. And then finally, a bit of history that you have been involved with again. I think we're seeing this a lot now. Uh, you and Basileda are the first pair of Dutch international players to play together and bat together in the county championship. How, how nice is that to have that piece of, that little memento of history and also just to share it with one of your good mates? Yeah, it's obviously great. Me and Basi have known each other now for like five years. Um, we've experienced some great things on the cricket field before. So we've got the world cups. So yeah, we're into the things together.